everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am Dana, and this time I am back with a brief stationery haul video as promised. I was really, really eager to open this package as soon as it arrived, but I wanted to show you the unboxing of the goodies I got and also use some of these stickers to decorate my weekly spread. This package is from 10x10 which is a Korean stationery store but they also sell a lot of cute decorative goods. They are not sponsoring this video, I just love their products and wanted to show you some cute Korean stationery. To show you what I got, I got this sticker tweezers. These are super handy like if you need to place tiny stickers on the page it gives you a lot more control than using your hands so if you haven't already I recommend getting some tweezers too then I mostly got sticker packs they give you a lot of value for money and this first one is like a highlight sticker pack they are all see-through and come with a range of lengths and shapes the colors are super vibrant and I thought that this would also be very useful and here I'm just testing out the tweezers I got. The next sticker pack is this color shapes one. Half of these sheets were like shiny material, the other half were made of paper material so you can write on top of them. The next one is a simple sticker sheet of some Taiwan scenery which is where I'll be going to very soon and I'm looking forward to using these stickers. Then I got these Soatelier stickers which are a very popular brand. This is their travel sticker set and they're super cute. Then lastly I got another deco sticker pack. These are mini decorations of scribbles and shapes as well, which is great to add to tiny empty spaces of the spreads. I'm actually trying to limit my sticker collection to this one display folder here. I'm going in to try to make some space now so I can make room for my new stickers. Just to give you a little bit of confession, like a mini confession time, I am on a stationary low buy challenge for a number of reasons, but the main reason is I need to minimize my sticker collection because I'm moving overseas. But as I was looking over my collection, I found that my taste changed a lot over the years. Before I was really into character stickers like cartoon style bunnies or bears or whatnot, but now I think I prefer to like have a simpler style, just using simple colored shapes or patterns to decorate the page. So I ended up using a lot of these um, sticker character stickers in my journal which is perfect because they are very useful for specific situations like watching a movie or eating some food, that kind of thing. And then I convinced myself that I could get um, some more stickers, treat myself to one last small delivery before I move abroad. I'm really happy with the selection I got because I think I will be able to find a lot of uses for these stickers.
I am now going to use a few of my new stickers to decorate last week's spread. Usually my process is I add stickers as the week progresses, but I knew I was going to want to use the new stickers as soon as I got them, so I was saving up this spread just for this occasion. As you can see, I already have the dated stickers also from 10x10 and they are this very soft green color. So I wanted to go with a spring theme using green and yellow and use a few floral stickers for this spread. I don't actually plan my stickers beforehand. I just go with how I'm feeling and I'm just trying to decorate some empty spaces in my spreads too. And generally, I just try to balance out the colors or motifs to make sure the overall, overall spread looks nice. I am truly spoilt for choice with these deco sticker packs. So it was really hard for me to choose what I wanted to put on the page. But I got there in the end eventually, which is great. Also, you won't believe the amount of footage I had to cut out of me just waving the stickers around, trying to choose what I liked. Um, these sticker packs, there are so many um, sticker sheets, so it was sort of difficult for me to choose. And here I put down this vase sticker but it was practically invisible against the white background so I put it back on the page and the tweezers really saved me there so once again highly recommend. And as you can see, I used a lot of these green highlight stickers and I thought that it was a little bit too green. So now I'm trying to tie in a little bit more of the yellow and trying to add a bit more of the checkered patterns I used. Um, and I remembered that there were some checkered semi-circle stickers from another sticker pack. So I will be using that here. Just some final touches, I'm adding a yellow smiley face sticker and I'm also going to add a yellow highlight sticker just to make sure that a big event in my week is very easy to see um, because it was a special event for me. And this is the final spread. Thank you so much for coming along and watching this video. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you next time. Bye!